Assalamualaikum and hello everybody. I'm Fakrul, your lecturer for this course, Getting Financing or Funding. This course is for aspiring entrepreneurs who wants to understand how to secure funding for their firm or companies. This course will highlight key financing concepts to give entrepreneurs a guide to secure funding. Let's look to the chapter objective. There are five objectives for this chapter. First, let's explain why most entrepreneurial ventures need to raise money during their early life. Second, identify the three sources of personal financing available to entrepreneurs. Third, provide example of how entrepreneurs bootstrap to raise money or cut costs. Fourth, identify the three steps involved in properly preparing to raise debt or equity financings. And fifth, discuss the difference between equity funding and debt financing. Before we start, answer this question. What are the three most common reasons most entrepreneurial ventures need to raise money in their life? In other words, why they need the money? To buy assets? To buy machines? Or for their working capital requirements? Few people deal with the process of raising investment capital until they need to raise capital for their own firm. For example, as individual, we buy a house, land, and paper asset such as stop option and unit trust. As a result, many entrepreneurs go about the task of raising capital haphazardly because they lack experience in this area. There are three reasons most new ventures need to raise money during their early life. The three reasons are shown on the following slide. These are the three reasons why most new ventures need financing or funding. First, because cash flow challenge. Inventory must be purchased, employees must be trained and paid, and advertising must be paid for before cash is generated from sale. Secondly, capital investment is one of the reasons why new ventures need financing or funding. Of course, the cost of buying real estate, building facilities, and purchasing equipment typically exceeds a firm ability to provide funds for these needs on its own. Third, the firm also needs finance or funding because lengthy product development cycle. Some products are under development for years before they generate earnings. The upfront costs often exceed a firm ability to fund these activities on its own. There are few alternatives for raising money for a new venture. For this course, we are going to focus on three common sources of finance for new venture such as personal funds, equity capital, and debt financing. As an entrepreneur, in order to start our business, we can't avoid to use our own money. Why? Because at this stage, it is very difficult to get third-party funding like banks or investors because the business is, not, is just started. It involves risk as well as the banks require a lot of documents as well as collateral. The vast majority of founders contribute personal funds along with sweat equity to their ventures. In this situation, sweat equity represents the value of the time and effort that the founder puts into a new venture. On the other hand, friends and family are the second source of fund for many new ventures. A third source of seed money for a new venture is referred to as bootstrapping. Bootstrapping is finding ways to avoid the need for external financing or funding through creativity, ingenuity, thriftiness, cost-cutting, or any means necessary. 
many entrepreneurs bootstrap out of necessity. These are example of bootstrapping methods. What we can see here are a few examples that entrepreneurs can use to bootstrap their new startup venture. Buying use instead of new equipment, coordinating purchase with other businesses, leasing equipment instead of buying, obtaining payment in advance from customers, minimizing personal expenses, avoiding unnecessary expenses, buying items cheaply but prudently via options such as eBay, sharing office space or employees with other businesses, and finally hiring interns are part of the strategies. On the other hand, if you want to raise debt or equity financing, there are three steps involved. Step one is we need to determine precisely how much money is needed. Step two, we need to determine the type of financing or, fi or funding that is the most appropriate. And step three, we need to develop a strategy for engaging potential investors or bankers. Now, we look into the two most common alternatives, equity funding and debt financing. What is equity funding? Equity funding means exchanging partial ownership in a firm, usually in the form of stock for funding. While debt financing is getting a loan, such as from bank. What is the appropriate form of financing or funding? Whether entrepreneur want to choose personal funds, debt financing, or equity. So, in order to choose type of funding, what we can do is by looking to the characteristic of the venture. For the example, if the company or firm has weak cash flow, high leverage, low to moderate growth, and unproven management, the most appropriate funding for this firm or company is more on personal funds, friends, family, and other form of bootstrapping. On the other hand, if the business has low risk with a more predictable return, such as strong cash flow, low leverage, audited financial, good management, and healthy balance sheet, then the company can opt to the debt financing. Lastly, if the business offers a high return that includes unique business idea, high growth, niche market, and proven management, the company can look into equity as, as their option. To recap the chapter, as an entrepreneur, you need to know what kind of funding that suits with your business needs. Personal financing or funding is always become the first choice at the early stage of new venture creation. I'm Fakrul, your entrepreneurial lecturer for this course. Remember, action change things. See you next time. Bye.